Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, here's a quick video to show you how to change your local account status. So local accounts or accounts in Microsoft can be of different levels and I'll explain why you might want to keep what level uh, when you create accounts. So in your settings app in Windows 11 you will go into the accounts page into the accounts page you will go down to the other users and all the other users that you have are here or whatever user you have will be here uh, if you create local accounts like I showed you now when you click here a local account you see there's a change account type when you click here, it's going to tell you that you have standard user, administrator. And here's how you got to choose carefully. If you are a um, main user of the PC and you want to have all the privileges and do everything without any problem, you have to be an administrator. In general, you'll keep one administrator so that you can you know, tweak the system, do or install programs if you want but you will also in some cases want to have standard users why because this makes you a lot safer a standard user if for example you have family everybody else there should be a standard user that means they can install programs and that also by um, a, 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 a kind of interesting trick of fate it also prevents most viruses from installing on the PC because the standard user doesn't have that privilege it will ask for the administrator password so this is in a way a security uh, I even often told people that weren't sure you should have an administrator account that you never touch but you should be a standard user with your everyday computer and but know the password for installing software for example how to deal with what you need to have, you know, the real uh, account administration. It is a, a little more annoying sometimes because it will ask passwords when you want to change settings, but it keeps you a lot safer because it warns you that something wants to change uh, some of the settings or maybe a program wants to install on your PC. So here you'll choose between an admin or a standard user, depending on what type of user you want to be. Uh, the administrator will be the powerful uh, account that would, can do anything. And the standard user will not do what it wants. It will only uh, be able to, like, it will surf the web, get its email, stuff like that. But if it wants to install new software or change things, then the administrator password will be required. So this is where you change it. So choose wisely what you want to have as a, an account user. I'll keep it as a standard user here on this one. And that's where you change that in Windows 11. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.